The two million Americans have glaucoma and half of them don't even know about it. If left untreated, it can lead to blindness. But as CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez explains, a tiny new implant could help prevent that from happening. Dr. Max? That's right, Alison Maurice. High pressure in the eyes called glaucoma. Now, while there are some good treatments for glaucoma, including drops and lasers, they don't work for everyone or have unwanted side effects. Now, the smallest device ever to be implanted in the human body is helping lower that pressure. Larry Sturcio has known about his glaucoma for 13 years, even though he had no symptoms from the high pressure in his eyes. But he did know what glaucoma could do to his eyesight. It damages the nerve in the back of the eye, stealing the patient's vision. Once the glaucoma becomes advanced, important vision is gone, patients are limited functionally, and the vision can't come back. Sturcio was using a variety of eye drops for his glaucoma, but with limited success. The drug becomes ineffective after a time, and I have to switch to a, another drug, or the drug actually turns on me and irritates my eyes to such an extent that uh, I, can, I can't take it. Laser surgery is another option, but it doesn't always work, and some patients are reluctant to have it done. But Sturcio also had cataracts, which meant he was eligible for a minuscule little implant called an eye stent. So small, it's the size of a number on a penny. The concept of the eye stent is to bypass the area of blockage where the fluid inside of the eye exits the eye. By bypassing that blockage, we can lower the pressure in the eye. Here's how it works. After the cataract is removed, the eye surgeon uses a special tool to insert the eye stent at the very edge of the iris. The tiny tube allows excess fluid to drain normally out of the eye where it's reabsorbed by surrounding veins. Sturcio had the eye stent implanted seven months ago. The pressure's been doing very well. In fact, my last, uh, my last exam uh, two weeks ago, my pressure was down to 12. Um, which it hadn't been close to um, before. Now, Sturcio is still using drops, but his doctor will start weaning him off those meds soon. And in fact, in clinical trials, 85% of eye stent patients were completely off drops a year after their procedure. The FDA has approved the eye stent procedure for patients who are having cataract surgery at the same time.